Now, I want to go to this nuclear issue that I talked to you about last night. I think it's one of the biggest issues in the world, a world focused on climate policy and energy policy, yet France makes this massive announcement and most of the media ignore it. Let's uh, catch up now with Associate Professor Nigel Marks, who's a physicist with Curtin University in the West. Good to talk to you again, Nigel. Just how significant is this? Because we know since Fukushima there'd been a bit of a retreat on nuclear power, at least in some countries, but there'd been talk of that in France. But this announcement of uh, major investment in the decades to come in additional nuclear power plants in France is big news for France and surely all of Europe. Yeah, it's a great development, really. So uh, France has, has really struggled with its uh, its commitment to nuclear power. They, um, they were winding things back a little bit and they've had some well-publicised difficulties with their, their new builds, but they've decided that they really need to go in with both feet and invest hard because they realise that if they're going to meet their CO2 targets, there's really no other way for them to do it but to have nuclear as an important part of their electricity generation. Yeah, I mean, it's the only way there to get to net zero. So many experts have pointed that out, but it's going to help other countries, isn't it? Because Germany, the UK, Italy and other nations rely on some of that clean fuel, that nuclear-generated uh, power from France to supplement their power systems that are they're in a, a sorry state thanks to gas prices and the shift to renewables. Yeah, it's remarkable. Like you, you mentioned Italy there and they've uh, they've firmly walked away from nuclear. They had some a referendum on it, but they still import 7% of their daily electricity from nuclear places. So it's it's a crazy situation. It's it's one of these it's political. So people say say one thing with one hand and do something completely different on the other. But I think the great thing for, for France is it shows a bit that they've got their mojo back because they their confidence took a bit of a hit. They, uh, they've had a massive blowout for uh, a big project in Finland, which is very difficult to pronounce. Uh, and it, I think they realise now that they've got to retrain a new generation of engineers and they're going to really get back into it. Well, the other thing is, tell us about how good this is for the technology, for the development of the technology, because there's a big new plant about to open in the UK. We know the Chinese are building many more new plants and the enemies, uh, the opponents of nuclear energy always put, point to Chernobyl. It was something that was built in 1950s technology. What we're going to see here, of course, is the very latest nuclear technology. Will this be safer and will it be, uh, what other differences will there be between the, the, the new generation of reactors and what we've seen in the past? Well, it'll be vastly different. It's like chalk and cheese, really. And, and part of the bind that the French got themselves into when they started uh, rebuilding uh, new designs was they, they kind of lost practice with it. And so the, the reactors of today are nothing like the ones that were built in the 50s and 60s. But the problem was they weren't really building enough of them. And they've had one in France and, and one, in, one in Finland that I mentioned, and they, they were just slow to get going. But now that the government has committed long term, the whole sector can reinvest and get itself back to where it was in the 70s when they built power plants all over France and the world. So it's a big shift. It, it shows that they, they're really in it for the long haul. They're not just trying to get uh, a reactor here or there. They're going to train people and they'll learn from their mistakes from the last... 10 or 15 years, and they're back in a big way. Great news. I hope the rest of the world, including Australia, watches and follows. Thanks for joining us, Nigel. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Nigel Marks there from uh, Curtin University.